Hello and welcome to Mixed Reality TV. I'm your host Sebastian Ang and this is the full review of the Lenovo Explorer Windows Mixed Reality headset. If this is your first time tuning into Mixed Reality TV, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any news and reviews about Windows Mixed Reality and the Mixed Reality industry in general. But now let's get to the review. So here it is, the first review of my very first Windows Mixed Reality headset, the Lenovo Explorer. I picked this one up as my first Windows headset simply because it was the first headset that I could buy in stores here in Germany. I had also pre-ordered the Dell one, but that has still not arrived yet. The Lenovo Explorer will set you back $399 in the US or 449 euros in Europe. It is priced at the entry level of Windows MR headsets and costs the same as the Oculus Rift Touch Bundle. However, have a look out for discounts. Exactly one day after I got it for 449 euros, the biggest local electronics store in Germany had it on sale for only 349 euros. A hundred euro discount after only one week. The VR competition is tough and for sure those headsets will go even further down in price eventually. I was curious to find out for myself if the first setup really is as simple as Microsoft tells us. I had just set up the Oculus Rift with three motion sensors a couple of weeks before and that was honestly speaking quite the ordeal. With the Windows Mixed Reality headsets you won't have to configure any base stations at all because the headsets get tracked in space from the inside out using the two onboard cameras. You will learn later in this review how well this works. For the initial setup, it is indeed as simple as advertised. Plug in the headset's USB and HDMI cable and Windows will automatically start the setup process. You choose if you would like to go for a room scale experience or if you would only want to go for the seated one. As you can tell, I wanted it all and chose the room scale experience. In the next step, you simply walk the headset along your play boundaries in order to set those up. Everything worked on the first try and in the next step you turn on your motion controllers and they will be automatically recognized by Windows. That's all. I could now put the headset on and check out the Windows Mixed Reality tutorial. For all those of you interested in it, I'm going to do another video going through the whole tutorial. So in a nutshell, the setup process is incredibly simple and a big win for the Windows Mixed Reality platform as opposed to Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive. Now let's have a look at the Lenovo Explorer itself. It is a gorgeous headset and without a doubt one of the best looking of the first generation Windows MR headsets with its two great tones that make up a fantastic combination. Also when wearing it, rather than looking like an intellectually challenged Android like when wearing the Dell headset, you will look like a badass Robocop and in my book that is a clear win. The Lenovo Explorer belongs to the PSVR style headsets which have a head strap that sits on your forehead and carries the weight of the headset. There is an adjustment knob at the back that will let you tighten the head strap around your head for a tight fit. This design allows the Lenovo Explorer to come with a hinge so that you can fold up the headset should you need to grab your beer in the real world. Probably it would also work for grabbing any other beverage but I have not tested that yet. There is a cable clip that organizes the cables coming out of the headset with one of them being a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can directly hook up your headphones to the headset instead of having to connect it to your computer. Like most of the other Windows MR headsets, the Lenovo Explorer does not have a manual IPD adjustment option. If you have a much larger interpapillary distance than the average human, you might want to wait for the Samsung Odyssey which allows you to adjust the lenses so they fit your IPD. You could adjust the IPD within the software but that simply won't be as good as having lenses that fit your eye distance. In terms of build quality, the Lenovo Explorer can easily compare with the other high-end PC headsets or the PSVR. It looks and feels just like the quality headset that it is. Padding on the front and back of the head strap are top notch. You could even remove those paddings since they are attached to the headset with velcro. 
Foam padding of the face mask is removable as well and of the soft type, which feels good but might not score so well in terms of longevity. Anyways, it could be exchanged if it's really worn out. The only questionable design choice is the foam padding around the nose area, just as mentioned in the unboxing video. That padding is not attached to the headset, but instead kind of free floating. I was unsure how it would feel, but once I put on the headset, it turned out there are no problems with that part whatsoever, but instead this helped to completely erase any form of light bleeding. The Lenovo Explorer is an incredibly comfortable headset. The combination of PSVR style head strap together with its low weight of only 380 grams including the strap simply make this headset the most comfortable headset that I've personally worn in my VR career so far and that I've been quite a lot. In the direct comparison this would easily beat the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive and also the PSVR, all great headsets themselves. Also. If you would like to compare this against the mobile VR headsets like the Daydream View 2 or the Gear VR 2017, this headset easily wins. It's a joy to wear it and thanks to the complete lack of light leakage, you can easily get lost within VR. Now let's finally get to how virtual worlds look like in the Lenovo Explorer and therefore actually also in most of the other Windows MR headsets since they are all following the original Microsoft standard design for Windows Mixed Reality headsets. In one word, fantastic. This is without a doubt a step up as compared to what the Oculus Rift or the Vive have to offer. Same goes for the direct comparison with mobile VR devices such as Daydream or Gear VR. The world around you looks much crisper than on the headsets that came before. If you look closely, you can still make out individual pixels and a slight screen door effect, but honestly, this is so much better than Rift or Vive. The Lenovo Explorer uses LCD panels, sporting a resolution of 1440 x 1440 per eye. That is definitely an improvement over the Rift Vive's 1080 x 1200 resolution. And even though these headsets use OLED panels, the Lenovo Explorer panels still look sharper and offer a vibrant picture clarity that is a joy to look at. Thanks to the higher resolution, it is now also decidedly easier to read text in VR, which will make the Lenovo Explorer and all the other Windows MR headsets a great fit for productivity apps in VR. The Fresnel lenses offer a great field of view of 110 degrees same as the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. And indeed, when using the Lenovo Explorer to delve deep into VR, you won't see any differences to Rift and Vive in terms of FOV, just everything looks sharper. Now taking into account that there should not be a big difference between the Windows MR headsets, that is indeed a big win for the new platform. Also, God rays are way less obvious here than in the competition. Virtual reality has never looked as good before. Now the exciting question is, how good is the tracking? How well does the inside out tracking of the Windows MR headsets compare to the base station based one of the Rift and Vive? The answer is, the inside out tracking of the headset works surprisingly well. The headset gets tracked all around space in 6 degrees of freedom. Movements directly get translated into VR without noticeable lag and you can do true room scale VR here without the need of any base station. Actually, if compared to my 3 base station Rift setup, I could not tell if I was using the Rift or the Lenovo Explorer. It is just so good. And compared to a 2 base station front facing Rift setup, this one would clearly win since your headset will still know where it is even if you would face backwards. The accuracy of the inside out tracking truly impressed me here. I was concerned about my setup since I have a green screen on one side of my play area. In another video, I saw someone losing tracking because of that, but it seems my green only area is not huge enough in order for the headset to lose tracking. Inside out tracking is clearly the future and with the Windows MR headset, this future is now. The two motion controllers that come with the Lenovo Explorer are the standard Microsoft ones that come with all of the Windows MR headsets. As mentioned in the unboxing video, these controllers come with lots of input methods. 
There's a trigger button, a clickable touchpad, a clickable thumbstick, a grab button for your middle finger, a menu button and a windows button. These controllers surely get the job done, but if you come from the Oculus Touch controllers, you will be disappointed. These controllers can in no way compete with what Oculus offers with the Touch controllers at all. However, this is a whole topic worth a video on its own and I'm going to produce the comparison video in the near future, so stay tuned to Mixed Reality TV. For now, the takeaway is that these controllers are all right and do what they are supposed to do. If you come from the HTC Vive once, these controllers will even be an improvement since they are lighter and less clunky than with what HTC came up in the beginning of the commercial VR era. So how well do the motion controllers get tracked in space? For sure, by now you've already read lots about how they only get tracked in your headset's field of view because the two cameras in the headset are responsible for the controller tracking. You might have also heard how this might be a disadvantage when playing, let's say, bow and arrow games in which you have to extend your controllers out of the field of view. Let me say so much first. Tracking of the Windows MR motion controllers works great. And if I personally had not read about what I just mentioned, I would have never thought about these special cases at all. Why? Well, if your controllers are out of your field of view, you simply would not see them anyways. It's so simple. Also, the camera's field of view is bigger than the FLV that you see in VR. So chances are good the controller still gets tracked even when you pull that arrow out of your line of sight. During actual use of the controllers in the cliff house or while playing Space Pirate Trainer for example, the controllers were tracked accurately in space without a problem. In very rare cases, one of the controllers would lose tracking for a second or two just to get repositioned at the correct space, but that really was the rare exception. If I had to compare controller tracking with the Rift, I would say this setup clearly beats Rift with only two base stations, but will lose over a three base station Rift setup or compared to the Vive Lighthouse setup. It clearly is superior to PSVR tracking though for sure. I tested the Lenovo Explorer on two computers. One computer is running on a strong GTX 1070 graphics card and was declared fully Windows MR compatible. The other one is my work laptop that sports an older GTX 960M graphics card and that was identified by the Microsoft tool as too weak for Windows Mixed Reality. Surprisingly, both computers were able to run the Cliff House and also the Space Pirate Trainer game in VR without any problems. It seems that the hardware requirements are actually indeed much lower as compared to Rift and Vive. The Lenovo Explorer is an incredible headset. It easily beats the long established competition in terms of visual clarity, comfort and tracking. It is the most comfortable headset that I've ever used combined with the best visual quality that I've ever seen in VR and that clearly makes this one a winner. Since this is my first Windows MR headset, I cannot yet compare it to the other Windows headsets, but they all seem to offer similar experiences as what the optics are concerned. However, I can compare the Lenovo Explorer to the Oculus Rift, the HTC Vive and the PSVR. And in this comparison, I can declare this headset the clear winner. The content situation is still looking bad at this moment in time, but as soon as the Lenovo Explorer and all the other Windows MR headsets get full access to Steam VR, Windows Mixed Reality headsets will become a force to reckon with. So that's it for the full review of the Lenovo Explorer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming shows, make sure to subscribe. That's it for today. See you in the next video.